was battling with him behind the net. BU quickly up the ice. Quinn Hudson, the shot save made. Whitehead, the rebound, kicked out. Playing in his 133rd career game. Now ahead for Celebrini. Weaving his way up, drops it at the doorstep, and a big glove save for Whitehead. What great acceleration. Zabane kicking the puck wide. Peterson comes in, tries to get to it. He thinks it's in the net, but I think the leg strength of the goaltender, Whitehead, keeps it out with a beautiful little deflection coming up right there by the defenseman. He's behind him, but he just seals. You see how he's got his skates? One outside and one inside the post there. He's just going to show good leg strength and then doesn't move. Plays a game of... In fact, it was the season in which he was the runner-up for the Hobie Baker Award. I'm trying to coach team to the Bean Pod Championship. The trophy he won twice. Turnover in front. Score! Maglin Celebrini does it again for the second straight Monday. He scores first. And the Terriers take a 1 0 lead on the turnover. Celebrini's 23rd of the season. The diligent hard work, though. Getting the turn, the Peter Walton to turn the puck over. Whitehead just can't respond quick enough. Here's the puck coming through the neutral zone. Celebrini is going to have it go to Walton. Celebrini is going to take away the lane. And Jack Harvey is going to get his stick to the inside as well. That's all it was. Watch here. Walton has it. He's going to look. He tries to go back up the middle and just whiffs. Harvey gets it. No chance for Whitehead as Celebrini celebrates the first goal of the Beanbot Championship. We made it into the second period without you mentioning <laughs> baseball. Period. How that happened, I don't know. Uh, I'll make up for lost time. Turn over here to Mellis with the tough low shot. But Karan recovered, got his position and made the save. Yeah. Played out by Borghese. An opportunity with the numbers for Northeastern. Lund coming down low. Passes to the left. He gets it back and scores to Mellis. Came away with the puck off the right post. His second of the year and the senior ties this game at one. One of the smartest players that Jerry Keefe has coached finds himself in front of the net with the puck there. Nice little sauce pass up from Borghese. It gets Cam Lund going. Lund is going to get middle ice. I thought he was actually going to take it to his backhand and try and then get to the front. But instead, he makes the pass across. The first shot from Fontaine goes through the crease off the goaltender. And then there's Matt Demelis, who finds himself again. Backhand, forehand on the right at the far post in the right area. Doesn't do it. Lund going up the ice. Plays it to space. Borghese lost an edge and a two-on-one developing the other way. Up on the far side, the centering pass off the stick and in. It goes off the stick of McDonald, a goal for the BU Terriers, and they reclaim the one-goal lead. Kaplan's going to get it. Borghese's going to lose it, and that allows at the offensive blue line, and that allows for BU to get going. Borghese there, pulls up, loses an edge, falls into the wall. Stripped of the puck then, picks up by Kaplan. Kaplan, who had that injury we talked about before, a little while ago, hurt his foot against BC, was struggling a bit, started to get better the last couple of games, couple of days, I mean, here he gets on that two-on-one, tries to get it over to Stevens. McDonald turns, extends the stick, and it deflects perfectly past Whitehead. Six-three, you're going, you know, at 15, 16 Whoa. years old, you don't always play a power game. These kids are learning it, like Kaplan is right now. There's Justin Ritzkovian getting his own rebound, and he scores! Off the boards, backhand, into the net. We're tied at two. And the house is going crazy now. Ritzkovian picks it up. Push through the neutral zone. Ritzkovian gets it on his off wing. Uses the defenseman as a try to make it as a screen. Celebrini does a nice job blocking it. But it goes off the end wall perfectly. And Caron comes over. Stick not on the ice. Through the 5-0. Pass Caron. Who's out of the crease. Back into the crease. Through the legs and in. And we're tied at two. He brings the puck to the middle of the ice a couple of times here. He's got it. He waits. All eyes are on him. Literally all eyes. Fontaine included. 
11 red doesn't keep his eyes on Jack Hughes, who's scooting in. See how everybody's watching Celebrini? That's the respect that he has and the, how he's able to mesmerize guys with the puck. And then under 20 seconds remaining, a furious second period here at TD Garden. Wilmer looking to make something happen before the end of the period. Centering pass. Score! He found Lane Hudson in the slot. And with 7.2 seconds remaining, Boston University is back on top. There again, the example of Lane Hudson. And we've seen BU defensemen in general up into the play regularly. Sometimes it's going to work like yours. Sometimes it's not. Just like on that one Northeastern goal where Hudson was too deep and busted up with Zabane. But here he gets away from Hunter McDonald. McDonald thinks he's stopped. Watch. McDonald's going to turn and look at the puck. Wilmer does a good job, and that's all that Lane Hudson needs to get to the puck quickly. McDonald. Working hard, Lachance and Peterson out there. And again, using that behind the net, little short pass. Lachance, who's got real good hands for a big man, gets it. He's got good movement, too. F tries to get the Celebrini. Celebrini couldn't believe right, the reaction. One of the BU Terriers Weber. without a stick. Weber has no stick there. Forward usually gives a stick to Weber. The big issue is he's 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, he's got nothing right now. Two people have to give him a stick. Williams shoots. He scores! 15th goal of the season for Jack Williams and for the third time tonight, the Huskies have tied it up. I was just saying that Jack Williams has been quiet. Here he gets the opportunity to get loud. He gets loud with a slap shot or a one-timer below the hash or the uh, face-off marks there. Gorgeous pass from Borghese, who never looks at him. Looks like he might bring it middle of the ice. And instead, he slides it down to Jack Williams, who ties this game up. Down to his left, and he'll come off the ice. Green out there now. As he gets it back up on the left side. Quinn Hudson with the shot. Save made. Rebound. Wrap around bid. Just hit off the side of the netting. Just couldn't extend it on the back end to tuck it in. It is a uniquely Boston event. The first two Mondays of every February. Boston University turning it over. Getting the puck. The shot came through. A beautiful feed in front of the net. As Wilmer came in. Borghese. For Ritzkovian, Lund out there as well. Lund gets it. Lund for Borghese. What a save by Caron! We play on after the biggest save of the night. Celebrini back to Hudson. Lane Hudson up the ice. On the left side, a little dangle to the doorstep. Backhand save made. Whitehead out there. He waits. Green takes it. Green pulls back near side. Green turns, fires another save for Whitehead. Ritzkovian fell as he tried to go up the ice. Green to Tuck. Tuck fires the shot and the save is made. Whitehead's been good in the overtop. The ice with Tuck. Luke Tuck fires it on net. Rebound out in front. Justin Ritzkovian heading up the ice. Fontaine leaves it there. Tried to drop it for Ritzkovian. He gets it back. Fontaine shoots. He scores! Almost improbable earlier in this game where BU was really controlling things. Well, Lander loses it. There's the puck. Battle won by Ritzkovian. And then Gunnar Wolf Fontaine is loaded and ready. Pick of the stick. Backhand pass by Ritzkovian. Just above the pad from Gunnar Wolf Fontaine. The kid's clutch. Absolutely clutch. The senior from East Greenwich, Rhode Island, continues to come through for this team. Two goals in the Beanpot Championship game last year. One in a shootout. 
an overtime goal last Monday against Harvard to get him through to this game. And how about this kid? And then an overtime goal tonight to start the celebration. Whitehead was outstanding. Yeah. 33 saves tonight. Especially in OT. In overtime.